McCaffrey's and Till's gonna be pretty happy tonight. Good and look. Dunk inside by Jack Nunji. What though? We uh talking to Coach Jack Simon of Southern Utah. They've really got a, a master plan to build this program. Penzel, the baseline jam. As Penzel, speaking of active bigs, gets the offensive board. Now McCaffrey on the attack. Waits for the traffic. Gets the bucket and the foul. Son, or, or hashtag coach's son, uh, written all over it. I, I mean, the poise, the patience, the slow up fake. But it's not just an up fake. A lot of people do a pump fake. Look his eye. Look at his eyes. He fakes him out with his eyes. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Here's Pemsel on the corner. McCaffrey now against the smaller Bishop. McCaffrey into the paint. McCaffrey trying to get this bucket and one. And has the chance at a three-point play. I really like Connor's game. You know, you go back to even when he was in seventh grade, eighth grade, down under three minutes. McCaffrey going baseline. He's got an open look. Oh. Caffrey inside, Garza spinning, flips it up and in. He's good down there. McCaffrey inside, and that'll go. Nice move. Rodgers couldn't convert on the three-point play. Ball handed up ahead. McCaffrey feeds. Oh, man, what a beautiful feed from McCaffrey to Cook. McCaffrey pushing the tempo, passes it out. It's good from three. Nicholas Bayer, the senior, dials one up from beyond the arc. Cleaner. Yeah, Goldman has to be stronger with the basketball. Just has to be stronger. Last court pass. Bear three. Nicholas Bear. Definitely improved at that end, and that's what it's going to take because, boy, do we have some special scorers in the league. Speaking of that, McCaffrey steps in front. Daly lays it in. And the onslaught continues. Greener, second straight hoop for him, eight points now. I will set up with 10 on the shot clock around that Garza screen. McCaffrey feeds inside the Garza, and he gets his first two back in the line. Initiates, and I really like when him and Bohannon are, uh, him and Bohannon are on the floor together. Right inside, gets the defense, gets the bucket and the foul. One of them not playing, it's Cordell Pemsel, but the other one was Connor McCaffrey, and those were the tough leaders. Able to pull it away and start it the other way for the Hawkeyes. Iowa happy to get into transition as McCaffrey runs it to the rim and lays it in. Taylor's got to stop that basketball. He just kind of swiped at the basketball. And... Here comes Bo Hannon. Entry to Craner. Working against Bolton. Bucket and a foul. Shadis Philly with his 20 points and 8 rebounds against Minnesota. He was so good, but quiet here early. And a really good passer. Nice backdoor pass. Speaking of good passes, Bohannon from McCaffrey. Get that big body around the rim. Well, Michigan State's good entry yeah. here, huh? He's a terrific passer. And still plenty of time and a turnover. McCaffrey, Moss with the layup. And all of a sudden, Iowa off the canvas. Within single digit. Iowa's all time leader in career made three pointers. Or just nowhere to go right there for Green, and he turns it over. Bohannon again. Back to back three. But a better effort as we've gotten into the back end of this half. Pass inside. Not good defense there. Cook with the easy jam. He just manhandled Derek Pardon right there. And from side to side, when that's the case, as a post defender, it is incredibly difficult. In the second half, after hitting just 31% in the first half, Iowa oh, and McCaffrey gets the roll. Second half, make a play with a dribble drive, physical drive, goes right through Sorrell Smith's chest. Keeps his head to the rim, great balance, and now is a chance at the line for a three-point play. It set his previous career high of nine on Saturday. See if the Hawkeyes have a rally in them. Here's Tyler Cook, gets the roll. Seventh game this year for Michael Bear. McCaffrey, under a minute to go. He'll get to the rim, floats it over the front of the rim. 15 to shoot for Bohannon. The kick, McCaffrey fakes the three. Got Palmer in the air, drives for two, and got the roll. 
John Crispin read that promo. People took their televisions out and smashed them with hammers. Clear <laughs> with the left hand and the largest lead of the night for the Hawkeyes. There's rhythm to the game. 19 assists on 23 made field goals. In the corner, coach's son. And it's an offensive board, Weeds Camp. Well, they really get out on the shooter, don't they? Here's McCaffrey again. He's fouled. Count that. Here, huh? Of course, dad was some player. I believe to take the hit and finish the deal. Impressive. Two sport athlete. One of three at the Division I level. A great job by Frederick to come over and help his buddy with the double team. Let's see if they can get it back to CJ and get him going. McCaffrey breaks free. Defense. But if you can get some extra offense out of him, it's just an extra bonus. No one was at home. He kept his head up, laid it off the glass. I don't know where those Air Jordan Retro 11s are he likes to wear. Now 9 for 15 from beyond the arc to start this year to Charlie Moore. McCaffrey. That's Connor feeds Ryan Greener into the flush. There's a turnover. Patrick McCaffrey, the freshman. Well, he's more than a screener. But he'd be willing to set a screen. And Patrick McCaffrey, the freshman. They really like him. Averaged 25 points in his senior season. Evelyn, extra pass. McCaffrey fakes it, takes it in the paint against O'Banner and finishes high off the glass. Here's Garza with it back out on the floor. He's only played 12 minutes of this first half, but he's got 11 points. McCaffrey to the basket, and that left-hand layup is good. And Iowa back up in front, 13. There's Escobar. Trying to find the lane, which he does. McCaffrey swats it away. He continue to get better. He's got a great coach who knows how to coach him. And uh, the sky's the limit for this young man. And the stats he has are perfectly good, especially for a freshman. Ten points, a few assists, a few rebounds. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> would have been are great. you kidding me? Greener. <laughs> Instead, it's Connor McCaffrey. <laughs> On the baseline with that little runner and that little fader. And Connor, look at that, a la <laughs> Michael Jordan. Feels like the tempo is definitely in Iowa's favor. McCaffrey trying to drive, fades back, knocked it down. <laughs> Free to shoot, Holyfield's all over him. McCaffrey, D3, oh, did he call off the window or no? It doesn't matter. Pass or no, doesn't matter. <laughs> Shot clock winding down, Connor McCaffrey. That's when you know it's your night. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Look at Polium pick up Jordan Bohannon and make him work just to initiate offense. McCaffrey trying to go around Mitchell, steps back. And a taste of Mitchell's own <laughs> yeah, right? McCaffrey answers right back. Do. And then watch McCaffrey. Wetzel's trying to take away that post pass. McCaffrey says. Here's Joe Wieskamp working on Bogner. Gives it up to guess who? There's a follow. Count it. And one. Smart play by the coach's son, McCaffrey. He tests it out as well, which opens up the opportunity for McCaffrey to get inside for that. Free himself up and Eli Brooks with a nice dime inside. Teskey's hit his last six shots. McCaffrey with a fadeaway J. Really like you to be polite when you block a shot. Six to shoot. Iowa not getting much going. McCaffrey step back three. That falls. Well, another possession where really stagnant offense. Connor McCaffrey, kid who when he was little was watching film with Dad. He knows this offense and defense as well as anybody as he puts in his first basket of the game. Connor McCaffrey, you see shot clock winding down. He's got the mismatch with the bigger Bryson Lockley guarding. Shot clock at six. Shot clock at three. McCaffrey will put one up, and the lefty drains it. Big time on McCaffrey. The Australian national team in a couple of Olympic games. Shot clock at six. McCaffrey will launch from deep, and there is a three to break the spell. Let's see how much Weston is going to play this. This is Connor McCaffrey. They do get it into Garza, and he scores. So the first two points of the game going to the leading scorer in the conference. Man, Brooks is now fading away on his jumper after coming in, struggling in this game. 
boy, they needed every bit of his offense at the Wolverine. Weiss Camp one more time. Weiss Camp has been quiet since the early going. Toussaint from three. He's had a nice stretch, and now he's talking to the Scarlet Knights as well. I think Maryland's fortunate the ball went out of bounds because Iowa then can't run on the long rebound. McCaffrey, beautiful pass to Garza for two. What a feed from McCaffrey. Shot clock to five. McCaffrey throws it up. His second three. Cam Mack is so good at looking off his passes before making it. Trying to hit Fogey Arneson on the baseline, and he threw it away. Frederick on the lob. Weez Camp soaring to the rim, lays it in. A good steal here. McCaffrey gets his hands on it, secures it. Leaves a fast break. Frederick trying to get a lob play there. Greener inside and gets it to go. Nicely done there. We are talking about it in yep. the first half. That's a great local school here. It's a kid who was... Parents are from Nigeria, born in Brooklyn, and now on the other end. Preener's been in foul trouble. McCaffrey scores again. Man, that was sweet. McCaffrey harassed at half court by Dredd. Garza underneath, and another 20-point game for Luka Garza. For Purdue. Stefanovic. Now William. He's got to take advantage of that. He had the double. He had Frederick on him. He has to take advantage of that mismatch, Dave. Toussaint stepping through. Try to control your excitement. Oh, Kevin. Oh, what a guard. What a feed and a finish. At the four, it starts with Luka Garza going baseline and completing with the other hand. Handsy play by McCaffrey, who just does a little bit of everything for Iowa. And an easy flush on the other end. His first shot of the second half. Driving McCaffrey, and his layup is good. First points for McCaffrey. He's put the head down, sees that the post player is out guarding Garza. Slam dunk, he's camp. Just so you got Luca Garza, ladies and gentlemen, playing point guard. Not almost an automatic review anymore in college basketball. So Caffrey defeated inside the Wies camp. We've seen some excellent interior passing. Minnesota needs Gabe Kalsh to stay aggressive, stay engaged on the offensive end of the floor, even though he hasn't shot it great. Frederick off the nice feed. First two points of the game for him. Caffrey shot up to 10, open in the corner, Bohannon, and that's a good sign for the Hawkeyes to have Bohannon. I was surprised Murray didn't finish that off. That was a really nice move and a very mature head fake. Wow, active hands for Iowa late in this first half, and Murray! The bench really sparking the Hawkeyes, and right there, help defense right on point. Jordan Bohannon throwing it ahead, and Keegan Murray tearing the rim off. He was a top 10 scorer in the Big Ten last year, 14 points per game. Another takeaway for Iowa. McCaffrey threads one to Wieskamp. It looked like it was going to Garza, and it slipped through all the way to Wieskamp, who lays it in. I thought Garza might have been the recipient, but look at the sweet dive through the teeth of the defense, and even Connor McCaffrey turns around and has a look of... Others played at Wisconsin, Air Force, Northern Iowa. Nice luck, Virginia. Frederick, automatic. Six on the shot clock, McCaffrey harassed on the edge by Adam Miller. He'll have to launch the three, and he hits with one to shoot. Connor McCaffrey with the three. Watch McCaffrey come off, see his feet, and then he, he gets squared back up, gets it off in time. It's a big shot. Iowa shooting 64%, Illinois 82% from the floor. McCaffrey in the corner. That three is good, count it, and a foul. Let's take a look. Curbelo gets sucked down into the paint. And you know what? It, it... Marquette knock off Butler just a moment ago. My name is Kevin Kugler alongside Nick Bach. A three-pointer from Aaron Henry, the only scoring we've seen in the first minute and 15 in this game as Garza passing out of the double team to McCaffrey, and he'll get one more at the line. So this double came a little bit late. Watch as Hauser's going to come, and you see Garza read it the whole time, spun away from it. First possession of the second half to the Hawkeyes. Great cross-court feed. 
by Connor McCaffrey and the three for Joe Wieskamp. Murray, freshman, very talented. He's going to be a winner for Iowa in years to come. Shot clock winding down three. Bam! You're talking about from a recruiting perspective and having pros, that says a lot about your program. See, Mac, another big time jump shot. Bowling pass. Right? I mean, inside out right there. Wieskamp has Seth Lundy guarding him here. Wieskamp short. Garza volleyballs it up and stares it. Kicks it up for a Connor McCaffrey three and a foul. Have been big for the Hawkeyes. Garza, good in traffic rebound. Immediately looks to the arc. Step back. Sessoms, tough three. Will not go. Garza the rebound. His 11th of the game. Frederick on the leak out to try to seal it for the Hawkeyes. Oh, what a spin by McCaffrey to get the ball into Luca Garza. That is threading the eye of the needle. Five to shoot for Aaron Eulis. Connor Lefty. Good looking stroke. You see Connor McCaffrey rising up here. A couple seconds left on the shot clock. All right. Bang in the head. Cost him some momentum, cost him some confidence, and now it's just they're a little gun shy taking it to the rim. And Murray's been at the basket all second half. A couple of dunks, count that one and a foul. The Murray is one of four twins on D1 rosters this year. They're twins at Arizona State. Look out below. Flustered Penn State. Changing defenses by McCaffrey. He wants another. Why not? Four triples in the first half for Connor McCaffrey. Lefty swish. A little further to the right. Looking over. Bench is reacting. We talked about this with Coach. Yeah, we did. They, they, right. won, they won one of these, what, three years ago yeah. against, against Rutgers. Wow. Murray. <laughs> 20 offensive rebounds for the Hawkeyes. Bohan, it pops out. Euless, the kick. McCaffrey, and hits. Connor McCaffrey, big time jumper. You talked about the offensive rebounds. How many chances do you want? And this is how you win on the road. You out hustle your opponent. And Connor McCaffrey on the floor as well. Here's Keegan Murray. McCaffrey will try again from deep. Why not? That's five. Five threes for Connor McCaffrey. Bohannon on the bounce to a cutting McCaffrey who leaves it for Murray. Boy, ball movement wow. at a premium for Iowa on that position. Hawks one made three from tying the tournament record, two from setting a new record for the Big Ten tournament. Trying for the tie. There's the tie, and it's Keegan Murray who's got 26 points. Rutgers has missed their last eight shots, down by five. McCaffrey, lob and inside, Murray with the finish of the foul. Perkins, McCaffrey with five, stuck for a moment. Good ball. Right. Got it to go! How about that, the Wiley event, big time. Great patience, using his, takes his time in a beautiful ball fake. <laughs> the ability to convert. With a little bit of contact right there. and Not getting rattled at a short clock right there. That's a coach's son. There he is again. There's the matchup of the big guys. Banging. Whole sway. Yeah, just, they're trying to move this man. He's not going anywhere. Feed the big oh, man. The Euro. Feed him. Underneath reverse layup missed by Love Bettis. What a shot. You got to <laughs> love the effort. There's that bounce pass that you talked about. Connor McCaffrey, Josh Ogundale, and a layup. The Mound City High School, prolific scorer, over 3,000 points at Mound City. And Chris Murray says, I'll just gently lay this one in. But Chris Murray's one rebound away from a 30-20 game. McCaffrey. Why not? That was just a walk-up. Quick deals, knock it in. This one is NBA range. The swing to Connor McCaffrey. He'll step out for three. Transition offense. 
Saved for the Hawkeyes for the moment. Ten to shoot. Connor McCaffrey. Iowa has hit four from downtown. He is capable as a three-point shooter. And obviously with the shot clock winding down, he had to let one fly. There's a three by McCaffrey. He's made two of them. Under a minute to go. Connor McCaffrey on Tyler Wall, and he gets it to go. Patrick McCaffrey, and here's Connor. Just getting to the lane, finding a way. Tyler Wall. Doesn't have any wins against top 200 net teams. Their best win is Boston University this season, according to Matt. Nice defense by McCaffrey, pushing it ahead for Sanford. Again, the layup for the Hawkeyes. They got the, they get the nice trap and get the steal, the good kick ahead, keeps his poise, uh, eyes on the hoop. And Connor McCaffrey going around Breitenbach. Two points. McCaffrey takes it all the way inside, gets two, puts the foul. The Hawkeyes within six. McCaffrey. They had the mismatch. Look, Connor McCaffrey has been around. He's able to get to that right shoulder, left hand. Missed it for three. Rebracha clears the rebound. Early leads are deceiving. Nice drive by Connor McCaffrey. He's going to keep plugging, stay in touch. Compliment their set, their dribble drive. And once again, the inability in watching games of Indiana, straight line drives, a little blow by by Connor McCaffrey. Well, he's become more of an offensive threat. McDaniel driving, no. Dickinson to follow, knocked away. Here come the Hawkeyes now. McCaffrey looking for Murray. on the break and lays it in. Ah, it was playing great defense steals lead to transition opportunities I was off and running air ball likely inside nice look Murray <laughs> Iowa quickly the other way, and Connor McCaffrey hits. Top of all the Big Ten, you know, everything they do is great. Defensively, one of the... Connor McCaffrey, very deep three, and he buried it. Can't go up and leave your feet, but Connor. Four-point lead again for Northwestern. McCaffrey dials up a three, knocks it through. He's the best post passer in the league, and now, guess what? He's raining threes so difficult. Smith, you know, leave him alone. Left it on the front of the rim. Edie got a hand on it, but McCaffrey, Connor pulls it away. Patrick's running. Alley oop, McCaffrey to McCaffrey for a bucket. And now. You think about the early start here for Minnesota, just the opposite of what they needed with all they're going through, and already it's 9-2 Iowa. McNeil's pass popped in the air by Perkins. Key, double-team Kane, clean to traffic. Really good defender, especially tonight, McCaffrey, as Euless swirls at home. Rules that we don't see all that often. We should build a tombstone for the flop rule. <laughs> November 2022 to December 2022. What, what about the cylinder rule? When that one go away? Perkins from McCaffrey. Barry, catch and release. Rolls around and off, but there's Nicholson. Taken away, though, by McCaffrey. Iowa with numbers. Perkins, yes. That was defended pretty well. It's a double clutch off the backboard shot, and he's had some decent looks tonight, but that one is a tough bucket from Connor Asijan. Hanford inside. That breaks the drought. They had not scored in over four minutes on the Iowa side. The Hawks up by two. So five-point game, Perkins for Iowa. Michigan State all over the three-point line now. It's like the umbrella zone. They're just taking away threes, but Connor hey, can't three this way. It doesn't matter. No post-ups are going to be Indiana's friend right now because it just is so hard to bring the bounce. And right and on here, unbelievable. Cut to death. I really hope he's 
back at Lincoln. Oh, I do too. Love watching him play. Absolutely. Rebracha, good position inside the fine feed from McCaffrey.